Oh, all right. I know it's been a few days since my last Grand Peace Online video. I actually uh, don't know how. Okay, three days. Wow. Yeah, I used to daily upload. Okay. Um. Okay. The reason why I did this is because I was getting kind of bored. Also, I did drop my face reveal. So, thank y'all for 10K. So, today's Grand Peace Online video is a little special. In today's video, um, first of all, I'm disbanding the Cloud Pirates. The reason why is because I want to make the name something more significant. So. I decided on the Dread Pirates. That's what I'm going with, y'all. So, if y'all are interested in joining the Dread Pirates, I mean, just just pull up, man. Like, just, just pull up, you know what I'm saying? And um, before I stop recording this intro, hit this video to 300 likes. 300 likes, and I will drop another Grand Peace video. That's what I'm going to do. Every time one of these videos hit the like goal, that's when I post another video, all right? And, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, if I sound tired, it's because I've recorded this video three times now. Um, I'm moving into my new room, so my audio and stuff, like, setting everything up has been really, really hard. Hold up. Actually, let me, uh, let me fix my mic really quick. Okay. So you guys might notice some change to my mic. I'm adding in a compressor and OBS. Alright, now that that's done. So, like I said, um, now that I've hit 10k, um... You guys might think that uh, I'm going to take a break from YouTube. I'm going to relax. I'm not going to relax. Now that I know that I can do this. Now that I know that I'm inspiring people. The people that were inspiring me. Are now like talking to me and stuff. It just. It motivates me. I'm going to be. I'm going to keep forging on. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about the Glint Glint crew. But uh, everybody knows it as Light Light. Even though that's not what it's called. And um. Yeah. I'm going to get into the Light Light video. Okay. So. A while back, I did a light light video, but today's video is going to be on me getting the fruit. And, uh, yeah, I can use light light now. <laughs> so, obviously, originally I did want Mera, but I'd say light light is not a bad trade off, guys. I'd say light light is still pretty good. Now, I think this is the fruit that I'm going to stick with. And another important notice so, my crew, Dread Pirates, <laughs> wait, wait, my, my fault. Cloud Pirates, y'all. Cloud Pirates is no longer a thing. Cloud Pirates is gone. Yep. It's gone, but in its place, the Dread Pirates are going to come. So, I was watching One Piece. I was like, yo, this anime is so far, you know what I'm saying? And I was looking at uh, Luffy and Blackbeard, and I was like, wait a second, and Whitebeard. And I was like, why don't I name my crew after something that's symbolic to me? And my thing, I feel like the most noticeable aspect about me is my dreads. And I think that that's a cold name, the Dread Pirates. So, if anyone's interested in joining that, um, I probably said this in my intro already. <laughs> But I'll be leaving a link to the Discord for my crew, the Dread Pirates. Now I am a little close to my mic, so if y'all can hear my breathing, I'm sorry. I, I just want to get this video recorded, bro. I'm sorry. I'll edit out what I have to. But uh, yeah, first move of light is light lunge. You create a sword and you go forward. Pretty simple. I think that instead of it just being a basic sword, I think that you should actually like have the ability to create a sword and just use it instead of it just doing this. This is a terrible trade-off, but I mean, like. It's not super useful. It's so easy to block it, but the thing about this is that it's tricky to block because, like the Shishi Son Son movie, anyone watch my One Sword Style Showcase, which if you didn't, uh, go check that out. But you need to actually block this move from behind. So, say this fishman could block, it, which it can't. It would need to turn around and start blocking. It like if it blocks while facing me, it's gonna get hit. But if it turns around in the opposite direction it's facing right now and blocks, it can dodge block the move. So, while the move is low, low damage and takes a like tiny amount of stamina it is very hard to block and in the middle of a fight you're not going to be thinking to do that second move um actually let me back up for me bro back up from me now i say light lunge is useful as long as your enemy isn't fast in any way and this is my favorite light move at the moment is a move called light kick back up for me okay light kick so you charge up light takes around one second and then you fire and the thing about this is that you wouldn't be able to see it from that distance, but the thing about this move that I like it so much is that it's instant. And it's not really instant, it does have like a projectile time, but, uh, alright, I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill this one specifically. And the reason why I do basically no damage now is because obviously I have a Devil Fruit, so I had to reallocate my stats, I had to mess around with them, make sure I had enough health, damage, stamina, and my build could still be a lot better. I'm just going off what I have right now, y'all, so die. Oh, and, uh, 
A small detail, if anyone noticed or didn't notice. The sound effect for the Logi effect for light is the same sound effect that lightsaber is used in Star Wars. A uh, small detail. We're all my Star Wars fan. Stop. Oh no, I can't speak English. Alright, so the the second move. Um, Wait, let me... I'm just going to have to unaggro you. So, uh, yeah. Come with me. Come with me. I'm going to have to take you out of the aggro zone. Second move, light kick. The thing about the thing about this move that I like so much is that it's... And I like that for you did this. It's a speed of light kick. So, right here. Say I want to kick this, right? It's instant. It's instant. And it's not just going where my mouse is. It's not. That's what you would assume. Because if I were to shoot this from... Let me get over here. I'm going to need you to back up from me. I'm going to have to kill that in a second. But yeah, I'm just going to have to kill you first before I do anything. But just give me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to showcase this to y'all. This is a move that I really like. Oh, and the fighting style that I'm using along with this is Rokuk Shuki. Now, the reason why I don't have a lot of damage is because, like I said, I have to balance my stats. I should show you all my stats in a second. That oh and yeah, it does do burn damage. Y'all can see that. Now I need stamina. Now I need stamina, bro. Look look at what you made me do. Look at what you made me do. All right, now that I'm generating my stamina, I guess I'll talk to you guys for a second. So, all right, Dread Pirates. I plan on doing divisions. Well, what I mean by this is that I'll have divisions. Each division will have one captain, and each division will also have a division leader. Now the division leader is going to be in control of everything. The division captain is going to be like the co-leader of the division, if that makes sense to you. I'm going to let them do freely. I'm going to let them pick members, but I'm going to have ranks inside of the actual crew. So I I'm just going to let y'all do whatever. As long as I have people that are intelligent and they're not doing stupid stuff. I'm going to be doing applications just to get rid of all the trolls because applications usually get rid of trolls. So uh, yeah, on to the first light move that I really, really love. Light kick. This crap is instant. Now, if I use it from over there, as y'all could see, there was a tiny little light projectile. The reason why that show this time is because I'm too far away. So I'm pretty sure that. Oh wow, light kick has like no cooldown. Yeah, I'm too far away. But as you guys can see, it does send out a really, really small projectile. But it's very, very fast. So do that. It looks like it's instant, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Actually, Fo, you might have scripted it so that if I'm too, if I'm out of range, it'll shoot out a projectile. But if I'm in range, it's instant. I honestly don't know. I, I I'm not like a very good scripter, in case y'all haven't noticed. But um, third move, light ray. Okay, I don't like this move. <laughs> the only purpose that this move will ever have is farming, and that's something I could do without a move specified for it. But you know what? If you want to farm, it's a useful move. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to get behind a wall to showcase this. Light Ray. Alright, summons a ray of light, does decent damage. Only Oh, it does burn damage too. Four burn damage, okay. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. But the thing about this move is that it has zero stun. None. So uh, let me uh, not get jumped by the shark right here. Come here. Alright. Light Ray, you'd expect that this would have some sort of stun on it, right? You'd think that a whole beam of light... A whole pillar of light would have some form of stun, but it hey then, it doesn't. That that's what I'm really trying to point out to y'all. It it doesn't have any form of stun, right, bruh? Can you hop off? Me? All right, I'm gonna have to kill you. All. Yep, back off from me. All oh, right, I'm a logia. Oh right, logia bar. All right, so this yellow bar right here, this is a logia bar. It's the below the ho hockey bar. That's what this is draining right now. For anyone wondering. The Logia bar is how many Logia hits I can take without getting hit, obviously. Um, hockey completely ignores the Logia bar, so if you use Hockey on me, you're going to hit me no matter how much bar I have. And you can train this Logia bar. You train this by getting hit more and more, so I'm really probably not going to train this because if I'm fighting against a non-Hockey user, then chances are I'm going to win. But it is good to have a trained Logia bar because Hockey has a max. It has a max before it runs out, so meaning... If you drain out a fight long enough against a hockey user, you're most likely going to win. Because if you have 30 dodges, right? Let's say you have 30 dodges and you're fighting a hockey user and the hockey runs out. You have 30 dodges worth of hits that you can abuse a non-devil freak user with. That's a pretty busted thing, I would say. But on to the second to last move. This is cool. This is a really cool one. Mirror kick. I like this. Summon mares, and then you kick whatever's below you. Yes, sir. And no matter how high you are up in the air, it shoots. Now, I don't exactly know how to make it stop. I'm very new to this route, y'all. I'm going to master it, though. Trust me. 
Um, I, maybe I just have to click. I, I really don't know. Stop! 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 No! Stop! All right. Maybe I just have to be out of stamina. I, I don't know. It, it's an it's an interesting move for sure. I think it just keeps going until you run out of stamina. Because when I press the button again, it, it just doesn't stop. The move just keeps going. But it can go pretty freaking high. So I don't have any stamina. So it's gonna stop faster or, or not. And I'm up here now. So yeah, Kizaru is a cool character in One Piece. I like him. I really like him a lot. And um, my last move. This is. Undeniably the most busted move. I remember that light. I mean TB glitch one shot me with this move while I was fighting him Oh, and if you guys are wondering light kick so I can use it from up here. Yeah, and uh, yeah Instant now she doesn't know where I am because it's an NPC and no, I'm not assuming the NPC's gender and um, Yeah, that's it as far as the first four moves so I want you all to tell me what you guys think about lights and Something that I realized today that I hadn't realized before so I thought that light should get a fly, right? I was like, oh, light should definitely get a fly. But the thing is that we've never actually seen this dude Kizaru fly somewhere before. What we've seen are him moving in like fast bursts of speed, maybe holding himself in the air somehow. I, I honestly don't know how. how does he do that. But uh, other than that, we've seen him use mirror, which I can do. So I think for you, did, I think I think for you did it justice. The only fruit that. And that's in the game that we've actually seen fly fly in the show is Mera and that has a fly so I think for you I think for you is doing pretty good all right so the last one that I have some stamina I can use this from up here jewel of light I like this so much like you could literally abuse people if you have this move guys look at this and then imagine using that on a battlefield it, it would be busted this would be busted and light kick just looks cold. This looks cold. Y'all can't tell me this doesn't look cold right here. Firing up a light kick, and then bam. You set up projectile. There's nothing in range. So I think that's how it works. But um, yeah. Um, now that I have a devil fruit, I'm even more hyped for Grand Peace. Bro. I, I, I'm hype. There's not really too much I can say as far as that goes. But yeah. Um, is this the fruit y'all wanted me to get? Cause I might look for. I might look for more. I'm not gonna lie. I might look for more fruits. I'm not 100% certain whether or not I will, but I, I probably will. Alright, so, um, one more thing I want to show you. Okay. Please get this right. Oh, wait. Are they all dead? I think they're all aggroed on. Oh, wait. I see some back there. Alright. Please work. <laughs> Please work. I think it should work. Come on. Stop. Stop. Alright, it worked. Alright. So, if you use Mary from high enough and actually manage to do that, which I never do, like, I, that crap is hard to hit. You can actually do that, so pretty cool. Um, well, I, I think Pika is a pretty cool fruit. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'm dead. I'll see y'all in the next one.